hello guys welcome to the video where i am all about living my life at 40 years and above today guys i'm going to do something very special for you guys today i'm going to do a greek yogurt greek yogurt is very good for your health when you are 40 years and above because it contains a lot of probiotics that are very very essential for your gut health it makes the stomach very very healthy and when your stomach is healthy you are invariably healthy as well so I make this yogurt myself. So it's going to be a very brief video. Sorry for the lighting condition of this video, but I just have to make this video before because it's been quite a while I've been trying to do this. So what I have here is about three liters of water. This is a powdered milk and a bowl and just a plate. And I have is a wooden spoon. Wooden spoon is very essential so that it doesn't react with the milk when you're mixing it so i'm going to mix it up now and leave it to settle for like an hour so what happens is that i just pour in the milk in a bowl right pour in the milk then it's very simple i just pour in the water pour in the water yeah make sure i add enough water then I stir it. Make sure you only stir on one direction. Don't stir like when you go this way, you go that way too. No, that is not good for the mixture. You stir it properly and make sure it's properly mixed up. Alright. So after I mix it up, I allow it to settle for like an hour before I now continue the process so stay tuned I will allow it to settle now meanwhile this has to be mixed very well I've gotten the complete mix the way I want it so I will just let it settle all right so this is what I take every other day to make sure that my gut health is okay um, I don't add sugar to this I just make the yogurt and I use it for my in-between meals or maybe when I don't feel like really eating I just take it so if you truly want to keep up with my journey make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe also make sure you turn on the bell notification that way you will always be the first to know whenever I release a video come on friends let's do this Welcome back to the video guys. If you are new here, you are most welcome. My name is Ernest. I'm a health and fitness enthusiast and today I'm making Greek yogurt. I want you to consider subscribing. For my old subscribers, you are welcome back to the video. Right now, we are ready to steam. You can see the yogurt has actually melted and blended very well with the water. So, it's assumed, is, uh, I mean the milk, not the yogurt. It's assumed it's like a fresh milk right now, not, no longer powdered milk. So what we can do now is to heat it until it comes to a boil. Not really boil, we just simmer it gradually until we get it ready. The essence of steaming it is to make sure that uh, in case there is any, any whatever jams, you know, milk, you have to be very careful how you handle it because it can easily cause food poisoning. So I'm going to just put a little bit of, uh, I'll put it on uh, a, a little bit of heat. When it, it heats up, I will now reduce it for it to simmer to a little boil. I'll just bring it to a boil gradually. Then from there, we bring it down and then put the culture and get it ready for enjoyment. So stay tuned. Okay guys, the mixture is, in the, is on fire now. So we're going to be turning it gradually and bring it to a gradual boil. Now you don't have to cover it, just leave it open like that and make sure you are using a wooden stick so that uh, you don't have some other reaction going on. Okay, so this is it. So I'll be checking on it from time to time to see how it goes. All right, I'll just be around and make sure it doesn't overflow, it doesn't get too heated up. 
It's been on fire for like uh, five minutes now. You can see it's beginning to simmer a little. So we'll just stay leave it for a while for it to actually get um, ready. And then you see some film on top of the, the on top of the milk. We have some something like um, a film on top of it. Then you know it's ready. So we we'll keep one minute. We we'll just make sure it's simmering on a very low heat. All right. So we we'll sit on it. All right. This thing has been on fire for like uh, close to an hour now. You can see how it is. It has some film now on top, you see? Something like an old skin. That means we are ready to cook. So I will turn it and bring it down and allow it to cool. When it cool to a certain level, then I will add my culture and leave it to ferment for the next nine hours. Then our Greek yogurt is ready. So I'll off the heat now. I'll just take it off the heat and allow it to cool. Let's check if it's okay for us to put the culture for now. So how you check it is that you have to just use your index finger and put it inside the yogurt and see if you can hold it and count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wow, it's still very hot. So we cannot put the culture now. This is, this is the my starter. You know, that is the former yogurt one I did before. I have to keep, keep it so I can use it as my starter. So I can't add the starter now because it's still very hot. If I do that, it might kill the probiotics or the microorganisms that will actually help it grow. So I have to still wait. Make sure your index finger is clean enough while you're dipping it inside. Let me check again and see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wow. I can keep it up to 10, but it's still very hot. So I'll just wait a while so that I can comfortably do that before the starter will go in. Right? So it should be good to go by now. Let's check again and see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow. I think we are good. So what we are going to do now is to add the culture. I just pour the culture in this uh, container. In this little container. Just pour in the culture there. Or starter rather. Just pour it in. This is the yogurt I have before. Make sure your yogurt is uh, not straight from the fridge. It should be at room temperature. Then uh, I just add a little of it. Just a little to turn it and get a good mix. Ah. Then uh, turn it very well. Make sure. A very good mix you can see i'm using wooden and plastic wood and plastic you don't really have to bring in a metallic something here even though my pot is metallic you can't cook with a plastic or a wood so that is an exception so i mix it properly and make sure it's well mixed all right the mix is okay now so i'll just pour it in into the rest pour it in yeah, that's it. I'm gonna mix it again. Make sure I have a good mix of protein. Mix it very properly. Yeah. So we got it now. So now we'll pour it into the container where I will make the yogurt in. All right, so just pour it in. So by morning, after an hour, the yogurt should just maybe somewhere here, and all good to go for enjoyment for my stomach you know abs actually made in the kitchen so all the exercise i'm doing are just to keep fit and to be healthy for your abs to pop you need to have good things like this probiotics so as you're exercising you need to be having some good diet good nutrition eat healthy food yogurt is a superfood is one of them so that's why i take my time to make my yogurt so we proceed to package it for morning we put it in a condition where it will not get cold 
we'll wrap it up a little just stay tuned and see how we're going to wrap it up now all right so we'll just cover it up air tight i'm going to be putting it inside this um okay no before then i have to wrap it up i have to wrap it up in this cloth all right <clears throat> Also wrap it up here too to be sure it is airtight and the love kit coming and then put it inside this flask. Blanket. Mm. All right, so keep it like this for the next nine hours and yeah it's, it's morning guys you know i prefer to do this at night so that i don't have to be going and checking them being too anxious to know how, what it looks like before morning so it's over nine hours now i think we did this around uh, 10 pm yesterday so it's around eight now so it's time to unravel it and see what we have let's see how Everything turned out, so we open it up gradually. separated from, from the distance. Let me get a spoon and let's see how it turns out. I'm sure the water is too. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is it. The yogurt is, is done now. So, that is how you make a Greek yogurt. If you want it to be very thick, all you need to do now is to get a cloth and uh, drain it. It will be thicker than this, but this is how I love it. I always enjoy it like this. It's thick as I prefer. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also, subscribe so that you can encourage me to keep up with this kind of video and lifestyle. I appreciate you for staying up to the end. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Ciao!